Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something really cool with a pivot table today. And I'm also going to show you VLOOKUP. I have a list of data, has invoice amounts and invoice dates. And so this will work with invoice dates, requisition dates, purchase order dates, it doesn't matter. And to be honest with you, I don't even care about column A, B, and C. I just put that there so we had some data. And I'm going to do the VLOOKUP first, then I'll come back and do the pivot table method which is what I actually prefer. So I'm trying to figure out how much money we made every week, meaning a seven day week. Well, to do the VLOOKUP, you can come over here and type in week. I just want the start date for the week. And then I want the week number. And my first is gonna be January 1, 2017. So the second week will be January 8, 2017. And in this example, all I care about is the year 2017 because I have year 18 and 19 in here also. In fact, I'm going to scroll through here and let you see some of the dates. I told me just sort, make it easier. You can look at those dates and see that I have multiple years in here. So there's those two, and let's pull that down until we get to December. If I was worried about the other years, I would keep pulling it down, by the way. And then obviously that's going to be week one, week two, highlight, autofill. You know how to do this. So then here's your VLOOKUP. I would name this week number, make it official, equals VLOOKUP. I'm trying to figure out what is D2, comma, from the range. And it's that range I just put in right over here. And I'm going to autofill down, so you have to make this an absolute reference, which is your F4 key. Comma, notice it says column index number in bold. I'm looking for the second column in that range in column H and I, so it's going to be the number 2. And this is going to be a true, because I'm looking for an approximate match, not a false. False is absolutely no good on this one. So the 7th is week 1. January 1 to January 7th is week 1. January 8th through the 14th should be week 2. Let's pull it down and see if I got a 2. Perfect. The 24th uh, is 4, which is correct. So it is working, so I'm going to autofill all the way down the screen. Now, once again, I only care about 2007. So I could do some subtotaling here if I pulled the year out, but this is still just a lot of work. This is not my preferred method. So I'm going to get rid of all this and delete it. And I'm going to use a pivot table to figure this out. So here we go. I'm going to first do a conversion and convert my data range to a table. That's the first thing I always do on a pivot table. And that is control T. And by the way, I usually look before I do this, but my data did stop in E577. Click OK. And my header row went blue, no big deal. Just change the font color. Here's what's nice. Row one's the header row, so if I scroll down, because it's a table, look, it automatically freezes. So that's pretty cool. So here we go. The question again is how much money did I make every week for the year 2017? Insert pivot table. Let's put it on a new sheet. Table one, it picked up the name of the table. Hit OK. I'm going to pull invoice date down to the rows. And just so you know this, I'm using Excel 2016, but if you're in a previous version of Excel, I'm going to select one of these dates. Pivot Table Tools Analyze, and I'm going to hit Ungroup, because yours may look like this. So I'm making this for everyone, regardless of your Excel version. And then the invoice amount is obviously the values. I could come in here and format these as numbers, but I'm not worried about that right now. So let me show you how you make this every week. Go back. First of all, if you click on one of the sum amounts, this is grayed out. You have to click on one of the dates. Group Selection. I want to start on January 1, 2017, and I want to end on 12-31-2017. And 
and it needs to be by days, not by months, quarters, or years. Days. How many days do you want to see? I believe there's seven days in a week. That sounds all right. Hit OK. Look at column A. Isn't that amazing? Scroll down, and you have to be a little careful here because this is Excel doing something stupid. Look at row 55. Greater than December 31st, 2017. This may go off my screen just a bit, but I'm going to hit here. And trust me, if you go all the way to the bottom, it's right here. You need to uncheck that. Because it says greater than 1231, click OK. Let's test it. Always test your pivot table data. Always. 9,314,062. 9,314. Go back to my data. Let's make sure I'm sorted by invoice date. Highlight them for 2017. You know what? I could have uh, I could have done a filter. Let me just I could have done a filter, but I'm gonna just highlight them real quick. Won't take that long. Getting there. Hold on. Right there. 9314062. Come back over to here. 9314062. Anyway, hopefully that helps. I'm Chris Menard. I just showed you how to use a VLOOKUP to figure out the weeks. And also showed you how to use a pivot table, which is my preferred method, to figure out how much money you made every week. Feel free to call me for instructor-led training. And my Excel class is online. Thank you.